exact chaos and welcome to a brand new Spanish uh, banished <laughs> I, uh, I well, this is obviously a pretty old game it's been out there for a number of years now and I used to play it a while ago never really played it not recently um, uh, but everybody playing uh, uh, dawn of man uh, on YouTube has got me uh, thinking I need to play a bit of a settlement game and I wanted to play Banished on the channel as well. I haven't played it yet on the channel but I'm going to do so now and also we're going to do try the Colonial Chartered mod so I haven't played that but I do understand that I've poked around with it a little bit I do understand that it adds a lot of supply chains and things like that so it makes the game a little bit more complex. So I'm going to get straight into it um, and let's call this um, Let's just call it the Chaos Village, yeah? Chaos Village. And let's see what kind of settings we're going to make use of. So let's do, 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 do a couple of clicks. Oh, I had a look at all of these things. And I think what I'm going to do is going to do some jungle rivers, just so that it's a little bit more interesting. And I want to do the abandoned village in the jungle, uh, keep, keep with, the, with the theme, yeah? It's pretty good. Uh, disasters on, large terrain, uh, a mild climate is what I'm going to do. And we will get started straight away so um, I think it takes a while to load so uh, what I would uh, request uh, is that if you uh, are keen to see banished a series of it I'll, I'll just do a couple of episodes if, if, if people aren't really interested in seeing it if you can hit the like button comment down below tell me what you think of banished have you played it yourself all those kind of uh, neat things tell me what kind of villages you do what kind of this what are the scenarios you play um, and so on and we'll see yeah just 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 for interest sake what are the what are the most fun pieces to do uh, in banish what do you enjoy um, I obviously like the whole economy building kind of thing but also the layout of towns and things like that um, a thing that I found quite interesting about this game is the, the uh, distance between things causes a bit of a problem so the old mobility and transport side of things is quite an interesting one as well so yeah, let's see what we get as a starting point. I haven't played any of these uh, Colonial Chartered scenarios, so we'll see what we get as a starting point. I usually start with nothing, but this time around I think we're going to start with a few uh, kind of abandoned buildings or structures that we're, that we're going to use. Absolutely, let's pause. So what do we get? Uh, a market, that's cool. A barn, also cool. We've got a bit of firewood, coats, tools and potatoes. Um, then we've got a few homes. Uh, this one, uh, a few homes, yes, rustic abodes, works quite well. Uh, two of, one, two of them still, I think, still needs to be built. Yeah, yeah, still need to be built. So we can bear that in mind. Let's uh, look. Okay, so there is um, is the main river. This is just kind of a little stream over here, but that's pretty good. There's not a lot of mountains around, so the village can grow quite nicely into this area. Lots of resources available. Um, so yeah, I think the village is going to grow into this area so that we can set up uh, fishing and trading. Uh, so the village is going to grow into this area. So what I'm going to do is I think in this area here, I'm going to do the whole food source thing. What's going on with this? villain gallows my goodness and dead bodies that's nasty how do we get rid of dead bodies usually a cemetery but for some reason i think this is obviously not quite that so let's have a look <laughs> we can remove the structures there's another one over there Ooh. don't know where i'm gonna leave the gallows for now okay so first thing is we need food uh in the form of a gatherer or something like that so maybe a gatherer's hut I don't want to get it too far from the town so actually maybe if we say we will run a road through here I'm gonna do the gatherer's hut kind of like right over there uh, also keen on a hunter but what I also thought I heard someone said there is a it's a bit of a trick you can do if you're looking at this forest is large uh, foresters aha so apple forester right if we do an apple forester used to define an area 
to selectively cut down trees and plant new seedlings exclusively plants apple trees can we do that i believe we can so what i'll do is i'll do a bit of a forester's lodge um probably yeah right there next to it over there so we'll build those two pieces Apple Forester. So we'll keep, we'll see what that what that does. We'll see if that if that works. If that works. Okay. So now what we need to do is the standards run of the mill stuff. We need that up there. We also need this. I like this one, and I'll move the professions over here so we can just run it through there. And that is should be a good starting point. Okay. So let's uh, speed things up a little. At least five. Uh, ooh, what we do need is a bit of a <clears throat> a bit of a stockpile. So let's start. Where is this guy? Let's start a little stockpile over here. Just something like that. So go grab a stockpile. Get some builders up and running here. So we'll get the stockpile moving, hopefully pretty quickly, get these built pretty quickly and we we'll start getting some food in. Food is obviously a big ticket item fairly early on. Not thinking it's required for this person to, uh, to be, a, a, we don't need a market or a vendor or something just yet. Is the stockpile, yeah, stockpile is working. We're low on food, yes. Oh, low on logs, really? Oh, we've removed everything. So what we'll do is let's chop down a few logs. Let's harvest a few trees over here, just a little bit. Excellent. So let's uh, let's get some gatherers in place. Well, let's just make two for now. Get the gatherers to start gathering food for us. We'll chop down some more trees over here so we can build the other one. I'm also tempted to build a hunter so we can also get some leather yeah so build a hunter in there as well that's good um, yeah get the forester running excellent forester is coming up uh, reserve food is pretty low nice so we're starting up we hopefully we'll get a fair bit of food to come in how is this looking no food there yet still a lot of stuff in here oh we've actually put stuff in there interesting uh let's grab a forester enable or disable cutting down trees no definitely we're gonna cut down trees and we're gonna enable the growth of apple trees in this area hopefully that is a source of food Okay, so that's the first things first. Now we're going to need um, we're going to need a, what what is uh, yes some of this woodcutter, a woodcutter, a chopper. Do we need? The question is, do we? So that's just basic stuff. But I think a full woodcutter is probably good enough for us. Ooh, before we do that, let's get a few hunters up and running. I'm gonna go with three hunters straight away. That's, I think, quite important. Nice. So this is this is good. Should be able to see a fair bit of stuff happening straight away. Filling in that stockpile over there. Okay, woodcutter, please. Uh, right next to this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get the woodcutter in there as well. We'll clear out some of this stuff and then we can see about maybe doing a little bit more industrial stuff over here and then we're going to grow into this area um grow the town into this area can we fish some of this or anything like that anyway we're growing pretty well uh, we need a builder nice nice now what i'm going to want us to do is actually there is some stuff we can do what is this build decorative stuff yeah i'm not going to do that uh, collect wild foods. Let's get some wild foods from our immediate area with some of our laborers. That's going to be pretty good. Get the builder to start building that pieces. Are we starting to see some food here? Yeah, there's some food coming in. Yeah, make sure that we've got some sustainable supplies coming in here. 
get that up and running nice more foods and things like that nice 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 how, how long does the hunter take to start hunting things actually okay we obviously need a person to work here please nice so that's going to help us um it's summer now so all of that is up and running so now what is the next thing we want to do we want to look at getting making sure that we get a production of clothing and a production of tools we don't have tools that will last forever so a blacksmith is something that i'm pretty keen on getting so i was thinking in something like this actually yeah like that so build a blacksmith over there please and the other one we want is a tailor a tailor as well the blacksmith and the tailor next to each other over there yeah so the tailor can go in there as well um, oh, I've closed down this thing. I do that a lot. So yeah, don't worry too much about that. We don't have any stone at the moment. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need people to gather us some stone. Let's just um, pick up uh, the little bits and pieces from over here so that we can start getting that up and running little bits and pieces of that so i think we've got a, off to a pretty decent start uh, hopefully we can uh, get our food sources fairly sustainable duck meat and i don't actually want these guys to use this thing but leave it there for now what is barn can we got some leather pieces i think that's leather is it what is it feathers mm. yeah the tailor is going to be a bit of an issue okay what else do we have here so this is just decorative right yeah that's decorative this is uh like forts and stuff so really i think predominantly decorative as well really um this is some ooh, brewing and things luxuries production um standard production really what we need to do is get some of these food items in place i don't can we fish along this i'm kind of tempted to, to i wonder if we can our food isn't too bad at the moment but it's also not great how many do i have working here two and three and one are we getting some 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 leather and venison and stuff coming in not really not really should i yeah well excellent that's what we'll what we'll do is let's start um building up one of these houses so we can slowly start moving us into that direction let's get an extra builder in place let's just pause this for this for the time being come on come on we still we still need to clear all of this of uh, some some stone here so there's a fair bit of stone that you can start clearing putting on that stockpile you're gonna finish off this one first oh there's some stone that's uh why are you having stone that stood there it's quite interesting picking it up though how much do you have here so well collect it guys collect it we need you to collect it food is uh food is growing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trim down one hunter so we've got an extra laborer to start helping us out over here Our firewood is where it should be top level so that he's going to be an extra laborer as well now excellent do we have apple trees growing is our logging working that's the question yeah so is our food working yeah i think our food is our food is pretty good our amount of stored food is growing 
I don't want them to put it in here though, duck meat. So the hunters is getting some ducks in here. That's what they're hunting. So, I mean, I believe that would mean that we've also got feathers. Anything else that we get from that? Firewood. I don't like this. So we need this up and running. Oh, it's being constructed now. Perfect. Over here, you should be able to get that up and running soon. Nice. Nice things are happening. Do we have some iron? We've got basic bits of iron over here. We need to just maybe collect some more. I'm also pretty keen on getting a bit of a path in place. So if we do, what kind of paths can we actually put in here? These are all taking stone. That's a wooden bridge. Uh, what else do we have? Remove roads, flattening aesthetic plaza for decoration, stone bridge, tunnels, dock bridge a wooden bridge in this style uh, in the style of dock setting old creek bridge that's interesting a rock bridge <clears throat> this bridge is designed for small creeks not large rivers but will work for both okay that's fine so that's like a creek plank bridge or something like that that's that's fine so really we only have these kind of dirt roads country roads and then we have these guys the stone roads and they're all just one dirt roads dirt roads gravel country I like the idea of doing the soil roads so let's 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 get a bit of a road to kind of run through there oh this thing shouldn't actually be there it's a little tight through there uh, rough tools please uh, we I'll, I'll get making as soon as that drops down a little lower Oh, we've got an extra house underway there. Okay, so now what you can do is you can actually uh, start working on that one. How's our stone? Yeah, our stone is perfect. So that's pretty good. How's our food? Our food is is not great. Our food is not great. And it's still using this, right? Potatoes, mushrooms, herbs. Yeah. So the new house is filled in its inventory with a lot of the stuff that we were collecting. So really, we need to make sure that we keep that food production up. Slowly get these things up and running. Um, let's chop down a little row of trees at the back here. Just so that we uh, keep that logs up. Need that sustainable log supply to come in. There's a lot of firewood in this stockpile, is there? Yeah, absolutely. How many people living here? So we'll start seeing some growth in the population, I believe. Yeah, that can start growing. How's this? Yeah, we're going to need to start doing both of these pretty soon. Do we have leather? We don't have anything that we can actually create things from. How do we get... Um, what? Uh, I think there's some other... Let's, let's get this built and see what kind of clothing we can create. But yeah, the tools are going to become a problem fairly soon. Uh, let's uh, collect some of the iron ore over here as well. Food is starting to creep up again, so that's not that's not bad. How many people? 16. Yeah, I think that's what we started with. Eight adults and eight children is what we started with. And so we've got three of them that's... Okay, what, are we can, what can we do? So we need leather or wool or reeds and feathers or cloth or linen so really wool leather and the reeds and feathers is potentially what we can do straight away without a big process but we don't actually have leather right this we've got feathers so what is this guy actually targeting what are we what are we getting in here and how do we get reeds Shore house, clay, uh, processing of glassworks, brickworks, and frogs and turtles can be found. Uh, <clears throat> a wild shepherd searches all the land looking for uh, animals to domesticate. It takes a long time. You may eventually exhaust the local supply of animals available, at which time this building may be upgraded to a regular gatherer or removed. A stable. 
needs uh, two domesticated animals for a stable but I think there's some food stuff right animal pens domesticated animals yeah wool pen milk pen egg pen so from a food supply point of view that kind of thing would be required uh, we still have a little bit of tools available to us so we don't necessarily need to put people in there straight away um, kind of thinking how do we let's just let's just gather a little bit more kind of resources through there and maybe a little bit more through there that'll include food and a lot of other things because I want this this uh, this forester apple forester to plant some apple trees everywhere how do can I click on the types of trees to see how an apple tree looks like nice so we've got a lot of people doing their thing over here uh, slowly getting that in, in place so what I'm wondering about is can I actually do some fishing over here I'm quite keen maybe let's see can we do fishing um, what is this tidal pool mussels crayfish and seaweed yeah but I can't actually oh what's this hunting blind one water's edge helps disguise hunters they can catch ducks and other water animals apiary okay fishing dock let's get a fishing dock in place this will be my idea of getting us a little bit of help over here. Yeah, let's do that. See if that works. I'm not sure if that'll work or not. But if that will work, it be good. Got the two builders that's going to go and build that thing straight away. So yeah, now our food is pretty good. So all we need to do is just make sure that we've got a pretty decent supply of food. What is this? The log limit has been reached. Interesting. Well, that's not due to... So now what I was thinking is you're probably going to start growing growing some stuff. Is that what you're going to do? Hope so. What are we out of? Stone. Stone is low. Uh, and stone is not something we've got a big supply of. So let's see. Can we collect a little bit more stone somewhere? Yeah, let's collect little, little by little, little by little. The problem is if you just go and run off collecting tons of stone, then that becomes a problem very quickly. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to continue our little soil paths up here. And down that way, so we, at least we have this, this pathway going over here. The log limit. Actually, the log limit, we can probably put the log limit up a little bit 300 maybe well that stockpile can't accommodate too much more I would imagine okay what's what are we oh actually we can get some people to work here now so let's get two people to work the dock straight away and see if we can get some fish in here can you actually fish in the creek here Uh, yeah, so what I wanted to do is actually give me my soil path here. Run it till there and run it till there. And then I want a little, a little bridge here. Are you catching fish? That's the question. Yeah, you are. Actually, that is working. So that is pretty useful then for us. If we can get that in place. Nice. So what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of a bridge here. Nothing crazy. I want a basic bridge, a wooden bridge. Or a rock bridge or something to get people to be able to cross to the other side here. Maybe just a standard, like what is this? No, I don't think that's going to work. Um, now citizens across the rivers. Small rock bridge, this series designed small creeks, not larger. Let's do that. Let's see how this, this looks. really a little rock bridge ah okay I need to start it over here then why do I need to remove these uh, these roads here let's get these paths out of there let's uh, remove them please and we'll try that one more time are we getting food are we getting fish in here yes we are getting fish in here so food is becoming a little bit better I can probably get someone to work there now. 
that's been cleared up so now let's try this rock bridge now excellent excellent let's, so let's build a rock bridge over there uh, we have some stone so we'll build a rock bridge I want to see how that looks like I might m remove it later but I want to see how that works and looks and feels uh, okay so now let's get someone to work here as well and start pr producing some rough tools for us and I'm also pretty keen that we need to start producing some kind of form oh there's some leather at least so perfect so let's let's get someone in here to start producing some ooh I just just uh, just 50 is fine Okay, so start producing some of that. Uh, this guy is just in time. People are start running out of their tools now. What is that? Oh, it actually looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. So we need to get some iron in now. So let's collect a little bit of iron somewhere. Can we get some iron done? Iron through here somewhere. A little iron down here. Iron here. Anything? Not really. Uh, what are we running out of? Tools. Yeah, yeah, tools is low. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get the tools up and running in no time. In no time. I think that was pretty good. Now we're going into winter, are we? Yeah, winter. And our food supply, I think, is good. I think our food supply is okay. I think our food supply is okay. There's still a fair bit of stuff to collect. I want to see. Are we starting to see our apple trees coming in? I believe so. I believe we are seeing it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. What's the next thing for us to do? Uh, we need to get more sustainable sources of uh, food, for instance. So I'm kind of thinking, shall we get... Can we get um, a crop or two? A crop or two. Can we get a crop or two? Our food is okay. I think our food is okay, but it's still, it's a little tight though, still. Someone working there. Can we build this one? I think it's probably a good idea for us to build this one as well. But that's going to be it for now. We need to be take it very slow and carefully with the, um, the expansion of the population. very slow and steady yeah there we go so we've got a fair bit of tools up and running again now now what what i'm keen on doing is i want to expand the village into this area so housing and things like that needs to come in here i want to start clearing out this area over here as well this side are we so i think these are apple trees that are growing over here so they'll at some point become uh, provide us a source of food and wood at the same time but for now we are struggling a little bit so oh, we got three in here now let's add an extra hunter to that mix and maybe we'll well the gatherers okay for now what is this uh, just the one forester working over there but I think that is okay we've got the two guys working over here you're building this house so once that house is built is there anything else that needs to be built that we're asking to be built at this point in time we need to collect some more iron I think that's built so straight away we've got people in there and they're gonna use our food and our firewood straight away uh, let's collect uh, iron I want to collect some iron so let's uh, come and collect some iron on this side nice 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 so now I think we're a pretty decent bunch and we're going to see some population growth occurring now. I think that is what we will see. Um, okay, I think that's what I'm going to put the end to this first episode. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you want us to continue this? Do you want to see how this village expands and grows into something a little bit more industrious or not? Um, so yeah, leave a like, uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.